anything? Okay, so we have to. So, how was the listening test? Easy? It's so, so neat. <laughs> but it's so we have to practice more of the FCE examination, and it's going to be much, much easier. Okay? Much, much easier. A bit. Let me open my, my book. Me? Yes. En el examen mismo, me olvidé que teníamos que poner puras mayúsculas. Ah, no, yo siempre veo primero manualmente, yo lo, lo arreglo. Ah, ya, ya, mis gracias. Sí, es justo. Porque no se, sí, no se sacaría en cero. <ríe> A ver. Ok. So let's continue with our exams. The good thing is that um, you, you did the listening. That, that's what is important, okay? So let's go to the book right now. Let me share. Okay, so we did this. There was a lot of grammar here. And we still have to talk about that. And we did the reflexive pronouns, everything to herself, myself, those, right? Now we have spoken English expressions with reflexive. Now this specifically are expressions, right? To start, we have, there are many expressions with reflexives uh, used in everyday English. Yeah, it's really common. So work with a partner and match expressions A with line B, please match. All right, Mr. Kevin, we're doing exercise one spoken English. You have to match, you have two minutes, please.
uh, we're doing the spoke, spoken expressions, please. Okay, so you need to match. All right, so we, you had enough time. Let's listen, please, everybody. Let's listen and check and see how you did. Tape script 1.2. 1. He really fancies himself. He thinks all women fall for his charm. 2. Honestly, just listen to yourself. You never stop moaning. 3. Don't put yourself down. Believe in yourself. 4. Look after yourself. You've been looking a bit peaky recently. Five. I could kick myself. I didn't get a phone number. Six. Think for yourself. You don't have to agree with everything he says. Seven. Please yourself. You never listen to my advice anyway. Eight. Just be yourself. Don't try to appear to be something that you're not. 9. Think of yourself sometimes. You're always putting others first. 10. Don't flatter yourself. You didn't win because you're the best. Your opponent was rubbish. One more time. Tape script 1.2 1. He really fancies himself. He thinks all women fall for his charm. 2. Honestly, just listen to yourself. You never stop moaning. 3. Don't put yourself down. Believe in yourself. 4. Look after yourself. You've been looking a bit peaky recently. Five. I could kick myself. I didn't get a phone number. Six. 
Think for yourself. You don't have to agree with everything he says. 7. Please yourself. You never listen to my advice anyway. 8. Just be yourself. Don't try to appear to be something that you're not. 9. Think of yourself sometimes. You're always putting others first. 10. Don't flatter yourself. You didn't win because you're the best. Your opponent was rubbish. All right. Very good. So now let's check one more time. What is number one? One was... D. D, yes. D. Number two? A. A. Number three? C. C. Number four? B. B. Number five? E. E. Number six. F. F. Seven. H. H. Eight. Eight was J. Yes. Number nine. I. I. And ten was G. All right. Very good. Now we have this part over here. That is, listen to the conversation. Identify the situation, mainly the situation, and note all the expressions with reflexive. Okay? So we'll hear it twice. You have to find out the situation and then the reflection, the expressions with reflexes. Okay? So take notes as much as you can. All right? Let's do it. Tape script 1.3. 1. You look fabulous in it. It's perfect for you. I know, but look at the price. Go on, treat yourself. Oh, but... <laughs> Don't but me. Tell yourself that you deserve it. Okay, then. I'll get it. <laughs> Two. You've got to get over it. Move on in your life. I can't. I think she's starting to realise she's made a big mistake. Stop deluding yourself. It's over. I don't know. Maybe I'll just give her a call. Oh, believe me, you're only making a fool of yourself. Three. How's it going? It's a challenge. A real challenge. I'm up planning lessons until midnight most nights. You must be exhausted. You're going to have to learn to pace yourself or you'll be ill. I can't. I gave up the prospect of a good job in banking to do this, and I don't want to let myself or the kids down. Yes, but it's not worth killing yourself. You won't be any use to anyone. Four. Why did you do it? Oh, believe me, I keep asking myself the same question. You knew you'd never be able to pay it back. Now you've got yourself into a right mess. I know, I know. And I've only got myself to blame. What now? Uh, I suppose it'll have to be the bank of mum and dad. Mm. One more time. Tape script 1.3. One. You look fabulous in it. It's perfect for you. I know, but look at the price. Go on, treat yourself. Oh, but... <laughs> Don't but me. Tell yourself that you deserve it. Okay, then. I'll get it. <laughs> Two. You've got to get over it. Move on in your life. I can't. 
I think she's starting to realise she's made a big mistake. Stop deluding yourself. It's over. I don't know. Maybe I'll just give her a call. Oh, believe me, you're only making a fool of yourself. Three. How's it going? It's a challenge. A real challenge. I'm up planning lessons until midnight most nights. You must be exhausted. You're going to have to learn to pace yourself or you'll be ill. I can't. I gave up the prospect of a good job in banking to do this and I don't want to let myself or the kids down. Yes, but it's not worth killing yourself. You won't be any use to anyone. Four. Why did you do it? Oh, believe me, I keep asking myself the same question. You knew you'd never be able to pay it back. Now you've got yourself into a right mess. I know, I know. And I've only got myself to blame. What now? Uh, I suppose it'll have to be the bank of mum and dad. Mm. All right. So first, you had to hear the... Um, the situation and the expressions. So what was the, because there were only four conversations. So what was the first situation? It was about buying a dress. Okay, yes, about buying a dress with a friend. Very good. So what um, reflect, uh, expressions with reflexive they used? Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Very good. Now, the meaning of treat yourself is um, allow yourself to have something special. It's you allowing yourself. Yeah. You're buying something nice, traveling, or doing something special, but for you. Okay. Treat yourself. Number two, what was the situation? Uh, he broke up with her, his girlfriend. <laughs> Very good. So, yeah, well, the two friends were discussing that. Very good. So, what were the, um, the, the expressions? Uh, was a full of yourself. Full of yourself. Okay. Eso sería make. Make a fool of yourself. Uh, ah, you know, faltaba más in number one. Creo que este más. I don't know if you uh, heard was tell yourself. Yeah. So let me, let me, let me, no, después había. Uh, okay, I know so much. Tell yourself. Treat yourself, tell yourself, and delude yourself, sería. Hay uno más. Esto, make a fool of yourself. Después había, esto, delude. Yeah, ahora sí. So let's let's put these things together. The first one, let me go back to number one. Tell yourself, the meaning of tell yourself is to, to change the way you view things. Tell yourself, like, uh, I don't know, Maybe an example could be that uh, you always done gym. You went, always went to the gym, but now you want to try Sumba. It's really different, right? So it's like that. Try to change the way you view things, right? That's uh, tell yourself like, okay, so let me dance a little bit. I'm bored of all the time, <sighs> looking at the mirror, picking up weights, etc. Now I want to have fun. So it's like telling myself, right? Change my point of view. The other one that I like is make a fool of yourself. 
is um, in your way, the way you behave, your behavior that leaves you looking stupid in public. Yeah, that's making a fool of yourself. Yeah, behaving in public. And it's kind of like they, and people will start to criticize that you're stupid. I'm sorry to say that. Then deduce, delude yourself is, is, is trying to persuade, persuade yourself that things are different from how they really are. Yeah. Like um, persuade yourself that things are different from how they really are, from how they really are. Right. Mm, it could be because the second it was about that in, in uh, breaking up. So it says, uh, stop deluding yourself. It's over. Like saying, oh, uh, like <laughs> I have my nieces and nephews. And when um, they say their ex boyfriends or girlfriends are in Instagram or WhatsApp, they always are connected. And that means for them, that they're trying to connect with them but we say but there are so many thousands of people around they connect maybe for others not for you so you're deluding yourself thinking things that not they're not real like that okay all right number three the situation What is the situation? Maybe be a new job. Uh, well, it's about a job. Yeah, yeah. Their colleagues or teachers uh, having too much work, like workloads, and it's effects. A lot of work and it's effects. Okay. So, what expressions have you heard with that? Healing yourself. Excuse me. I mean, healing, healing yourself. Yes. I think yes. me. Very good. So you have heal yourself. There are two more. Oh. There are two more. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. Also, um, let yourself self down. Okay. So here, the meaning of um, first kill yourself. That is metaphorically, and we also use it in Spanish, is to get completely exhausted. Right, too much work workloads and you just stress and you have to do other things. So you cure yourself. It's too much. Then it was pace. Pace yourself means not live such such a fast life all the time. So not live um such a fast life all the time. Yeah. It's like, I have to go do this, this, that, yeah. It's like, relax, pace you, pace yourself. If you, if you cannot complete everything, the world won't explode. You won't explode. Humanity won't explode. So pace yourself. And the last one that is, let yourself down. This one is, is like not performing to the level that you're capable of, yeah? Let, let yourself down. Like, uh, I don't know, this is mainly in tests that we let ourselves down. It's like, we think I studied so much and I got a 60, I should get a hundred. And you just feel so bad about it because you're capable of doing something better, yeah? but. You, 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 you put yourself down, right? And the last, what was the conversation about?
or anybody? Alone, miss. Alone. Very good. Alone. Like uh, having cash or money. Yeah. That uh, has to be be repaid. Yeah. Alone that has to be repaid. Very good. So what are, what were the, the expressions? Ask myself. Ask. Very good. Ask yourself. Bueno, todo estoy poniendo con yourself. Yourself. Then two more. Get yourself into maybe a mess. That is one. And the last one was uh, to, to have yourself to boom. Okay. So explaining this, ask yourself, that's an easy one, is wonder why. Why did I do this? Why, why am I so stupid? <laughs> Something like that. You ask yourself. Also, um, get yourself into, get yourself into, it could be a mess. It may, maybe because of your behavior in a way that leads, Zakileva, leads into a difficult situation. Yeah. Get into yourself into a mess. Yeah. It's, it's, it's your behavior that leads you into a difficult situation. Yeah, like uh, owing money. You lend it and, and no one pays you and you're suffering. Oh, wow. So that's getting into a mess. And the last one, have yourself to blame. Blame is, is, is culpa. So to be in a situation that you have to have full responsibility for. So yes, I got... Uh, a loan from the bank and I have to pay it back and I'm mm -hmm. suffering and I'm, I'm trying to save up money to pay so that is to have yourself to blame the boss okay so those were some of the expressions with the use of reflexes okay do you have any questions any problems all right, very good. Now, in this next part, we have right in introducing yourself a personal profile. Da -da -da -da. This introduction is going to be your last introduction for all this headway level writing. So just enjoy it because if you if, if you started with with us in the first book of headways was about yourself right uh tell us about yourself or write to friends something like that so that i don't remember and now how have you grown in all this time how has your english improved in a very from a very basic way just learning the basics and now that's there are a lot of things that you know now how does, did that change over all this time? So it's a great improvement and I congratulate you because uh, there will be those type of mistakes to get worried about, I hope not. And to see that, um, yeah, it's easy for you to write a profile. If someone asks you to do that, you just say, okay, fine, easy, piece of cake, okay? So let's go to page 107 to see what we have to do. All right. Just a second, a bit more. No, I passed. 100 and then four. Yeah. And this is the writing. Everybody has that. And this is the profile. Now we're going to see it in a different way. Okay, 
We have 10 minutes, let me introduce. It says many people need to write a personal profile as part of an application for a place at university or job. Quickly read the profile, who is it from, what is it for? Okay, so I just want you to read this to get the idea of what you're gonna write about, okay? So start reading personal profile, Jack DeVoy in silence. How are you? You finished or you need one more minute?
All right. Okay, so we had enough time. Now, when you write this type of profile, it says, who is it from? Who is it from? Who is it from? Who writes this? Jack Dayboy. Okay, it's a fr from a student, yeah, from, uh, at a school in Birmingham. And what is it for? What is the purpose of this uh, writing? What's the purpose? What, why did he write this? Anybody? Why? What's the purpose? Nobody? Oh, come on. Anybody, anybody? Well, the purpose is he's applying. It's an application to study English literature at university. So here in Bolivia, when we entered university, we never had to write any profiles of ourselves. I don't know about you, but no, it was just my test and hello, welcome, welcome in. And who cares who you are, right? But in different parts of the world now, they're considering this type of um, writing to know what are your goals and who are you as a person. So it's not to be, uh, oh, he's saying so much. You have to learn to write like that, okay? Because there will be, if you want a, a scholarship or, or something like that, you need to write this. And you need to know how to express it, okay? So if you thought he was too cocky, the medio alzadita la cuestión, it's perfectly normal. But not that much. You have a level. It has to be elegant. It has to be, I don't know, interesting for the reader to know you better while you write something, okay? We have a minute, okay? And it says, number two, there are many websites where you can get tips for writing these profiles. Read these tips Jack found, then listen to him. Then listen to him reading his Work with a partner and note the ways in which he has tried to follow the advice. Do you think he succeeds in all respects? So first, read it in silence. And we'll come back and hear from him. Okay? <laughs> 